Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome to day 111 of the orbit, also known as day 111, I guess. And I know that I look awful and I apologize for this, but I'm feeling kind of sickly and, uh, and I look gross. So I'm really sorry. I have a book review for you today. And, you know, I'd usually show you the book. But this time I did audiobooks, and this is the first time I've ever done this. So I was forced to spend ten and a half hours on a book. Um, you know that I read really fast, so this was a new thing for me. But I really, I enjoyed it. The book is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And I was referred to read this book by Ergo. Ergo6667. He also did a book review on it. I guess you could say, and his video will be here. So you check that out. And it was written in 1985. It, it received the Nebula Award in 1985 and the Hugo Award in 1986 for being a really awesome piece of science fiction, complete with aliens and it's crazy. It's awesome. It, it's really good book. Okay, so, just for a warning, I am, I've been having problems the past few days, just like, speaking, like, words, just, the words, they, I can't, as you can see. So, bear with me as I do this book review. Protagonist's name is Andrew Wigan. He goes by Ender in this book, and when the book starts out, he's six years old. This is, he lives in a world where it is Earth after two invasions um, and huge wars against this race from another world called the Formix. It's kind of like an insect looking kind of thing. And actually, people call them buggers. And so to prevent against the third invasion, Earth, uh, people on Earth, decide to, you know, start this little fleet um, as a way to protect themselves, and it is composed of children. Ender is chosen to be, to start training to become a soldier to fight in like a war against these alien creatures at six years old. And that was a pretty young age for anyone to go into this. Um, actually, I think it was, I think he was the youngest, but he was also the smartest and brightest, and those are synonyms. Synonyms. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, sorry. Okay, so he's chosen. He's really young. People don't respect him. You know, everyone looks down on him because um, not only is he young, but he's not a firstborn child. He's a He's the third, actually, and um, in this world, there's governmental restrictions on the amount of children you can have, so he's really in a nice spot there with his birth order. So he has to prove himself and gain the respect and show that he's capable of, you know, being a, being a soldier. Yeah. So anyways... This is, the story is kind of like his coming of age. He spends years training and, you know, he, he, uh, oh gosh, this is, it's getting into the part where it's going to be difficult for me to say anything, otherwise it'll ruin things for you. Uh, so I wonder if that's all I should tell you, is that there's children and they're being trained. One thing that I really liked so yeah, so anyways, in case that didn't just clue you in, I'm done with the plot. <laughs> okay, so what I liked about this book is, um, it was a great piece of science fiction. And you know when it's a really good piece, when you sit afterwards and you think about it and you're like arguing with yourself and you're trying to like figure things out, so, or at least that's one of my criteria for a good book. And some of the scenes were just really enjoyable to read. I really liked the um, any of the scenes where there was um, when he was training, and they they split up into these teams. Um, 
teams, armies, and they battle each other in, in this room where it's their training room and there's no gravity, they have to, you know, figure out how to beat the other. It's like, it's almost like a sport, the way that it's done. It's, it really is like a game. Uh, and I also liked, um, anyone who's read the book will understand what, I, what I'm talking about, but I like the, I like the games that he played, like the computer games, even though parts of it, and in the book there were parts of it, parts of gruesome things, uh, that were really hard to read, and were kind of surprising, like, well I won't give, give an example, but, like I would, um, I would think, like, if I was, if I was younger, I'd be really freaked out in reading <laughs> this part. Oh gosh. So uh, yeah, if you, if you, uh, I don't know, <laughs> you can message me if you are really curious and if that would, you know, bother you a lot. Sorry, I'm not making any sense whatsoever. What I, my criticism of the book, I guess, is is that is that the it's really hard to read parts, you know, there's, vi there's violence in it, you know, there's, he has a brother who's, who just, who's kind of serial killeristic <laughs> in a child way, like the signs, I guess you could say, which I wonder if that will play into future books, so now I have to read the rest of them and see what happens, but yeah, by the way, he has a brother who is bent on world domination and a sister who's a genius, who, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything else about that, but she's a genius. They're all geniuses. Hmm. Yeah, very political book. There's also a lot of religion in this book, I would say. But all in all, I enjoyed the book. This is getting, this is over seven minutes already. And if I am in, incomprehensive, at all, I apologize. If I'm waffling, somebody in one of my videos uh, said that sometimes I waffle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, my, I just go all over the place. It's the tangents are incredible. All right, I think that it's time to go rest. I'm not gonna edit this at all. You're, you're just gonna see me in all of my greatness. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow on day 112. Enjoy the night, and I will see ya. Bye!